Hello everyone and welcome. In this presentation, we will be exploring the fascinating world of Windows architecture. Our case study will focus on the Windows NT kernel design and services, providing you with a comprehensive understanding of how this powerful operating system works. This is part of our operating systems course series designed to give you in-depth knowledge of key operating system concepts. Let's begin with an overview of the Windows NT architecture. Several key characteristics define its structure. First, it features a microkernel-inspired hybrid design, blending the benefits of both microkernels and monolithic kernels. Secondly, it incorporates a hardware abstraction layer, or HAL, which allows the operating system to work with various hardware configurations. Third, there is a clear separation between the user mode and kernel mode, enhancing system stability and security. Fourth, it employs an object-oriented architecture that treats system resources as objects. Finally, it offers built-in multiprocessor support, enabling efficient use of multiple CPUs. This diagram illustrates these layers with the user mode at the top, the kernel mode in the middle, and the hardware abstraction layer at the bottom. The Windows NT architecture is organized into several distinct layers, each with specific responsibilities. At the top, we have the user applications including Win32 apps, .NET apps, console apps, and various services. Moving down, the next layer consists of subsystems and dynamic link libraries, or DLLs, such as Win32, Win Realtime, Portable Operating System Interface, OS2, and Security Components. Below this is the NT Executive Services layer, which includes the Input Output Manager, Object Manager, and Security Reference Monitor. The next layer is the NT Kernel, responsible for scheduling, thread management, and interrupt handling. Finally, at the base is the Hardware Abstraction layer, or HAL. These layers work together to provide a robust and versatile operating system environment. A fundamental aspect of Windows NT architecture is the separation between user mode and kernel mode. In user mode, applications have limited access to system resources and cannot directly access hardware. Application crashes in this mode do not affect the entire system. User mode relies on system calls to request kernel services. Key components in user mode include user applications, environment subsystems, service processes, and system support processes. On the other hand, kernel mode provides unrestricted access to system resources and direct hardware access privileges. It executes critical operating system code, but crashes in kernel mode can lead to system failure, often resulting in a blue screen of death, or BSOD. The key components in kernel mode are executive services, the NT kernel, device drivers, and the hardware abstraction layer, or HAL. The NT executive services form a crucial part of the Windows NT architecture. These services operate in kernel mode and provide essential functionalities. At the heart of the executive is the NT executive itself. Surrounding it are several key services. The object manager, which manages system resources. The input-output manager, which controls device drivers. The security reference monitor, which enforces security policies. The process manager, which creates and terminates processes. The memory manager, which handles virtual memory and paging. The plug and play manager, which provides plug and play support. The power manager, which controls power states, and the cache manager, which manages file system caching. These services work together to ensure the smooth operation of the Windows NT system. The NT kernel is the core of the Windows NT architecture, providing fundamental operating system services and managing hardware resources. Its key responsibilities include thread scheduling and synchronization, interrupt and exception handling, multiprocessor synchronization, and system security and protection. At the center of the architecture is the NT kernel. Around the NT kernel are the scheduler, which manages thread execution the interrupt dispatcher, which handles hardware and software interrupts, the synchronization manager, which ensures proper access to shared resources, and the thread manager, which creates, 
manages and terminates threats. These components are essential for the real-time operation of the operating system. The Hardware Abstraction Layer, or HAL, is a critical component that provides a platform-independent interface between the Windows NT kernel and the underlying hardware. This allows Windows to run on different hardware platforms without modification. Key functions of the HAL include abstracting hardware differences, managing hardware interfaces, handling platform-specific interrupts, and providing power management functions. The diagram illustrates the HAL's position between the NT kernel and executive services and the physical hardware. It manages various functions such as the interrupt controller, direct memory access, or DMA, controller, multiprocessor support, input-output interfaces, and timer services. The HAL interacts with hardware components like the central processing unit or CPU, memory, storage, display, and input-output devices. Windows Memory Management is handled by the Memory Manager, which implements a demand-paged virtual memory system. This provides each process with its own private virtual address space. Key features of the Memory Manager include virtual memory with paging, memory protection, working set management, memory mapped files, and cache management. The diagram shows the virtual address spaces for each process, including code, data, heap, and stack. Page table mapping translates virtual addresses to physical addresses in physical memory. Physical memory contains used pages and free pages, which are dynamically managed by the memory manager. The Windows input-output system architecture is managed by the input-output manager, a core component of the Windows NT executive. The input-output manager provides a framework for input-output operations and manages the communication between applications and device drivers. Key features include the packet-driven input-output model, using input-output request packets or IRPs, asynchronous input-output support, layered driver model, plug-and-play support, and cache management integration. The diagram illustrates the input-output request flow from user mode applications through the input-output manager, device drivers, the hardware abstraction layer, or HAL, and finally to the physical hardware. The input-output request packet flow involves creating an input-output request packet, sending it to the driver, processing the request, accessing the hardware, and completing the input-output request packet. To summarize, here are the key takeaways from our exploration of Windows NT architecture. First, Windows NT utilizes a hybrid kernel architecture, combining microkernel and monolithic kernel features for a balance of performance and modularity. Second, a strict separation between user mode and kernel mode provides system stability and security by isolating applications from critical system components. Third, the executive services provide a set of modular system components that handle specific operating system functions like memory management and input-output operations. Fourth, the hardware abstraction layer or HAL enables Windows to run on diverse hardware platforms by providing a consistent interface between the kernel and physical hardware. Fifth, Windows NT uses an object-oriented approach to manage system resources, with the object manager providing a unified interface for resource access. Finally, the layered driver model and packet-driven input-output system provide a flexible framework for device support and extensibility. The Windows NT architecture serves as a foundation for modern Windows operating systems. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.